What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to High Temp Fishing. We are about to go fishing and try something really cool out. I've been making some a bunch of bucktail jigs recently. And they're coming out really cool. About to start playing with some of the ones that I just made recently, so you guys can check out the action. I'm excited to play with it, see what we're gonna catch up, um, and see what we're gonna catch. Uh, you guys have met, seen this guy before, so we're gonna get on out there. We're gonna see if we can catch, hook up on something, see if we can catch some dinner. Um, and just to have some fun with these bucktail jigs. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna show what we're using here. Doing an eighth of an ounce jig head here. So we got that first coot on. Switched it to this one, has some uh, blue flash in it. Looks pretty good. We'll see how it reacts in the water, see if we can catch another one. There we go. Oh, yes. Coulda hit it. All right, one species down on the bucktail jig. Let's go. All right, boys, take a look at that. He hit one species down on the bucktail jig. We're gonna see if we can get some more. He tore it up though. Here we go. Boom, bucktail jig. Coulda one. Oh yeah, this one looks really good in the water. It's got a nice color to it. Good flash. What I didn't do is I didn't cut the tail. I didn't make it like symmetrical perfect. I let a little bit out, so I just used two strands of blue flash and I let a little bit of the uh, bucktail hang a little further so it gives it more of a, uh, kind of like a wavy effect, you know, instead of just going and cutting exact size. You find a lot of them will have uh, those exact sizes on them, but they're good too. I just wanted to do these a little bit different. Give it more of a little bit of a natural look to it. I don't know if you guys can see it in the water, but it looks really good. Looks like a little pilchard. <laughs> me a little bit of bait real quick just to be able to use something after we test out these uh bucktail jigs see a little bit of bait down there should be a quick little uh turn around here bunch of bait here All right, I'm sure we got ourselves just what we need to catch some dinner. Yeah, a couple little guys. There we go. Yeah, exactly what we're looking for. Perfect size, right for the occasion. Get all these little ones off the ground first. Probably got a few dozen in there now. All 
All right, guys, so I switched it up. Putting on the all white bucktail jig here. Finish it off with a red resin on a red uh, bucktail jig, eighth of an ounce. Should be pretty good. We'll see if we can catch another species. We got a barracuda already. So we can catch something different. We can just see what it looks like in the water. It looks really nice. I don't know if you can see that or not. The snapper's already looking at it. Let it sink down a little bit. Oh yeah, you can see the action too. Looks really good. there's another cuda here no all right species number two snapper on the jig look at that perfect i'm telling you everything loves these little uh these bucktail jigs beautiful little snapper we'll put it back and they just stay really good that i see i make i make it a little bit thicker here just so it hangs on a little tighter put a lot of thread on it I don't skimp on the thread and then I put a decent amount of the uh, red oxide re resin just so it can hold tight together and looks really good it has a beautiful movement in the water so we got two species down um, I mean after that here I only catch here I come for snapper coup to tarpon and then you catch your uh, occasional grouper over there on the grass um, but we'll see if we can hit some more. I mean, it has a beautiful movement in the water, so it's definitely attracting pretty much everything that's around. What you don't want to do, you don't want to really, really fast, you know? Um, and it's because, you know, you really want to get in strike zones, you know, especially if you're going after the bigger ones, some tarpon, snook, they'll hit those as well. You know, if, you, if you're reeling it in at super lightning speed and you got a speedy Gonzalez fish, little bait, chances are they're not gonna wanna really go after it, you know, cause it's, it's a lot of effort to chase, you know, a fish that's flying super fast. Um, just wanna give it a little bit of speed and you know, they're gonna see it and they're gonna wanna hit it. Especially like here, you can see all the snapper coming after right now. Where you actually have a lot of bait. Oh, yes sir, we got another one. Pretty sure it's a cuda, yeah. Got another cuda on that bucktail jig, boys. Yes sir. Oh, please don't tear it up. I'll let you go. Look at that, boys. Yeah. Cuda on the bucktail jig. All white. All right, so that last cuda tore it up, but he actually did bite me, look at that. Just scraped it, really. Um, almost tore it all up, but it still looks pretty good. We're gonna keep using it. All right, two kudus, one snapper. Good day so far. Wanted to come out and test this one, especially this all white one, it just looks so good. With that red, it just gives it a really good color. Note to self, always just have a little first aid kit. In a situation like that, that, that I kind of really didn't get bit by the cuda, but it kind of scraped on his teeth and cut me. It's good to put some, uh, you know, antibacterial on it because they. They're slimy little creatures. You can just see it in the water right here. Hopefully you can, look at that. That one's beautiful. All right, so overall, really impressed with the uh, white bucktail jig. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it and uh, see if we can catch some dinner. 
All right, so I switched it back. Had fun with the bucktail, but now I just want to catch some dinner real quick. So I got the uh, knocker rig with a, a two-odd circle hook on it. See if we can catch some dinner. Just a couple. I don't want a whole lot. Three or four will do, or actually, yeah, probably three or four. I got to get some for me, Andre, and my father-in-law. Hold right off. And that's how you fall in the water. Just gotta find my phone. Yeah, I fell in the water, boys. I slipped. Actually, my phone fell and I went for my phone and sure enough, bang. I slipped on this rock I knew it was slippery. But uh, water feels good. And it seems like my phone is waterproof, so not a big deal. We'll find out. About to slip again. Yep. Bitch, I wish we would have been able to see that. From a third person view, right? My keys got all wet. I don't think my, my keys waterproof, so just gonna leave those right there. All right, a little bait, a little mangrove snapper, swallowed the hook. There we go, we got here, a certified barracuda. Oh, and he come right off. Well, sure taught them a lesson. I'm out of weight. Well, turned out to be a pretty gnarly day, if you ask me. I don't fell in the water, got bit off. Well, we'll see.